Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to activate chart trading mode and how to place orders directly off your chart. So first up, we'll first need to open up a chart window, of course, and there's a couple ways to do so. The first method I'd suggest is going through apps in the top left hand corner here. While you hover over apps, this uh, little sub menu will remain open, and then you can just hover over to chart analysis here. This is going to be your charting application. Your next method is by going to file new application, and then clicking on chart analysis. Your final method, and as you can see here, there's actually a keyboard shortcut. You can just click Control, Alt, and C together at the same time on your keyboard, and that'll open up your shortcut for a chart. Either way, it will bring you open to the following chart window here. Now, I do already have a contract applied. This is a future trading contract. It's the E-mini S&P 500 of September 2019. Now you can put any asset class you'd like here and to add a symbol, all you need to do is click on data, click this drop down menu and then either edit or add symbol. Now you can either manually search through the search bar right here. If you have traded recently, your most recent contracts will pop up here or you can just click on look up, filter by asset class and then type in the root or the description if you know it and your future symbol will pop up. Now, I'm not going to actually apply anything because I already have a perfectly fine contract here. So let's continue on and I'll show you how to chart trade. So TradeStation makes it really easy and they do provide you with tool tips as well. All you need to do is just right click on your chart and then click on chart trading. Again, all you're going to do is just you can right click anywhere within the chart and you'll see there is a chart trading option right under style and in between data. So once that's active and if you haven't used this before or if you haven't deactivated tooltips you'll notice on the right hand side of our screen here we have some quick tips on how to use chart trading now i'm actually going to leave these up just so you can read along and see exactly what i'm doing while i'm doing it if you are using the platform you'll likely receive these as well so it's always good to have if you know what you're doing and you don't need these tooltips anymore Click the don't display at startup button in the bottom left hand corner. This will prevent these tool tips from popping up every time. Now here are where your options do open up a bit. So obviously everybody has their own trading method. Everybody has their own preferences. This point is really up to the user and there's a couple of different ways of how to actually place trades. So if you want, you can just pretty much use this as just another order entry method. You can look at the chart do your analysis and then just simply enter in your orders on the right hand side so first up we have our in our order settings this is going to be the account that we trade with so if you do have multiple make sure you select which count you want to trade first then we have the quantity of our orders then we have the order duration or the uh, flag you could call it so we have day good to cancel good to day um, ioc and fill our kills then we have some OSO orders that we can attach. Um, we do have another video coming on these advanced order types, but as you can see, they pretty much give you a template or a pretty much um, a standard template to choose from. And you can select one of the following OCO or OSO orders. If you want, you can even click the three horizontal dots here and it'll bring up OSO settings. So you can see you can create like an order preference standard or default for yourself. and. Once you do have that, you can click set as default for futures. That way, any future OSO order, no matter what it is, the limit will be opposite of the primary. It'll be 100% of the quantity, and you can make your price offsets there. You can change the duration settings, and you can do the vice versa for your stop market. So that's quite nice, but I'm not going to get too much into that here. We're just going to show the pure technical aspect of how to place trades on the chart. Now, continuing on here, as you can see, you do have your standard buy and sell buttons, buy, sell markets. Um, you have your take and hit, and then they're actually um, trailing orders as well here. So up there was OCO orders, or excuse me, OSO. Below, you can do OCO. Pretty similar. It gives you this whole um, standard bracket parameters that you can follow within. For example, you can just have like a, a bracket order with uh one stop loss and one limit you can do the opposite you can do two and two you can do two and one one and two they give you quite the 
few they give you quite a few different strategies to play with um and then again you can click these three horizontal dots here and the same thing you can customize as needed then of course we do have down below we have some cancel buttons cancel active and then you can reverse and close your positions here too now here's where things get interesting so if you want you can actually also place trades directly through the chart itself and this is where real chart trading mode actually takes into place and if we take a look at this tooltip window this is actually going to show us exactly how to place our orders directly from a chart so we talk to many traders who you know rather than using these order entry windows they like to scale in on the specific price whatever the case is you know everybody has their own method but they'll come exactly to the price and they just want to click a button to place a trade wherever their mouse is trade station supports that fully so let's say for example you came to the market right here let's say you wanted to place a limit order right below whatever the case is so let's say for example we want to place a maybe a buy limit or we can place a buy stop below the market if we wanted to do like a buy stop below the market we can just click control as it shows here in this center section and all you need to do or it should be above the ask price excuse me all you need to do is hold the control and then click. Now, as you can see, this is going to automatically enter in a stop market order for us. We take a look back at the tooltips. It said control click to place a stop order. And then you can see where my mouse was hovering over. Um, it, it correctly configured right at that specific price. So that just shows you that it's going to take an effect wherever your mouse cursor is. I'm not going to place this one. Let's continue on and let's try the other type order type. So let's do one for a buy limit in TradeStation makes it really easy. It even shows you put it below the ask price. So here we have our ask price. We can put it below. We're going to hit control left click again below the ask price. And there we have a limit. As you can see it, my mouse was hovering over 298075 at this time. And that's what I was um, traded for so or place my order for so if I click yes this is going to place my order and we can see we have um, even a little like indicator showing where the order is if you want at any time you can actually change the price or manipulate it by just left clicking holding within that little indicator line there where it says L1 and we can drag move around wherever we want on the chart and that'll update our order We'll click yes. And as you can see, I just moved it up a couple of ticks. So that's quite nice for those of you users that would like to manually adjust your price action like that. Now, if you want, you can also right click it. And as you can see, we can convert it to a market order being that it's a limit. If you want to just get filled immediately, you can replace your order with a different quantity here and a different limit price, or you can just cancel here. So it's as simple as that. So continuing on, let's go over the other order types here. There's also a buy stop limit. This is going to be a shift left click above um, above the ask price. Continuing on, let's go to the sell side. All of that was for buys. Now, as you can see, most of the buys were with a control other than the stop limit, which was used with the shift here. The difference with the sell sides is that you're going to be primarily using alt instead so this time if you wanted to do a sell limit you would click alt on my keyboard i'm holding alt down i want to scroll above the bid price and then i want to left click as you can see there's a sell of one quantity at that price with the limit order if we want to do a sell stop it's the same exact thing we hold down alt i'm holding alt down the whole time i find the market price i want to go below the bid as the tooltip tells me and there we have it. We have a stop market order, a sell stop market. Finally, as you saw before, a shift left click will give us a stop limit order. Now, it depends on where you click. If, as we saw with the buy stop, you want to do it above the ask with a sell, you want to do it below. So again, let's go below. We're holding shift. Let's left click. And there we have the stop offset. So it's exactly as the tooltips tell us. One more thing. You can also, and of course, as I've already shown you, you can cancel and replace a price if you left click, hold and drag and drop. Second, you have the edit quantity and order price. As you can saw, you just select it by left clicking there and then right clicking after you select it and that'll allow you to edit your orders. 
Finally, if you want to um, cancel or delete your orders without even going into that little sub menu or clicking one of these buttons, just click on the order and then click delete on your keyboard. And that pretty much wraps it up for as far as the core functionality of chart trading mode. There is some other things worth mentioning, I guess. You could enable keyboard trading here. This is gonna allow you to map different keys. So this does take a bit of configuration and you can actually click this little uh, preferences or the uh, three horizontal dots. And this will show you all the different um, keyboard shortcuts that you can add. So you'll just click on add and then enter in the keyboard or the key that you wanna add the shortcut to. They have this for orders, decreasing price, quantity, uh, trade routes, and some other miscellaneous settings. So definitely quite a few options you have there, and you can definitely get creative and make your trading much more efficient. Other than that, you can disable this at any time. You can preview OCO exit orders if you need to. You can disable this by just left-clicking, and it'll deactivate chart trading mode. And then finally, I would also like to mention and if you haven't already seen our um, video on how to activate one click trading and avoid order confirmation windows, you may want to, and I would definitely suggest activating it with chart trade mode because as you'll see here, let's say for example, I go to place an order. You'll see I run into this order confirmation window. So nothing exactly wrong with this, but especially when chart trading, if you're hovering over a specific price action and you want to place a trade right there, if you have an order confirmation window, it may slow things down and there may be that little buffer period and when you need to actually accept this order confirmation. And between that time happening, the market could potentially fluctuate in an unfavorable way. That way, I suggest disable order confirmation windows. You can do this right here by clicking don't show this again for trade bars and macro futures orders. And then that way, your trade just gets placed instantly. If you want to change these at any time, you can just go to File, Preferences, Order Entry, come down to the asset class you're trading. So for us, it's going to be validation or futures. Then we'll click on validations and confirmations. And then you'll see we have order confirmations turned off for trade bar, macros, and order placement objects. That's going to be your chart trade mode right there. So now that wraps it up for this video. We hope you found it helpful. If you do have any questions on chart trade mode or anything, any things we talked about or any things we talked about in other videos, please post them in the comment section below or head over to our community forum that's linked in the description. Other than that, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, subscribe for more future trading content, trade station content, trading podcasts, advice, tips, and much more. And as always, thanks for watching.